Christian schools refund Yahya Bello's children 10 years school fees to EFCC, which makes a shocking revelation. Guys, I must tell you, this is surprising. It is not funny at all. How can politicians, governors that are greedy to do such a thing of paying 10 years coofies ahead of stolen money from the government coffer? In fact, some of these politicians, they so believed that the nation's wealth belongs to them and their family. And that is why this high level of greed and embezzlement. Anyway, let's quickly hear the details of the report. If you are just joining us, this is Bliss Shane. Please kindly do well to share and subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to give us a feedback. Fresh revelations have emerged in the probe of former governor of Kogi State, Yahaya Bello, as documents from the American International School of Abuja detailing the payment and refund of $845,000 school fees paid in advance by the embattled S governor for his five children abroad. A part of the document shows that the American school had requested for this account number of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, to make reforms of the controversial school fees upon the anti-graft agency's request. Another part of the documents details that the refunded fees did not include educational services rendered to Bellows children up to date. When the EFCC made the request for a refund. Recall, the documents were shared on Thursday by Kogi State former Senator Dino Melaye. Recall that the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, had earlier said that the embattled S governor withdrew $720,000 from the state's accounts to pay his school's, his student's school fees in advance just before he left office on January 27, 2024. And that the school fees covers a period of 10 years from the date Yahya Bello left office. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission Chief, Ola Oluko Yede, made this known in a chat with journalists at the Commission's headquarters in the Jabi area of Abuja. Ola Oluko Yede, alleged that Bello moved the money from the state coffers to a bureau, the change operator, and used the money for his children's school fees in advance. This is not proper at all, a sitting governor, because he knew he was leaving office has to move such amount of money directly from the government coffer to Biru the change and use it to pay his children's school.
school fees in advance? Why will somebody who call himself a leader do such a criminal act? It is true that over seven hundred and twenty twenty thousand dollars all year about in anticipation that he was going to leave the government house in a poor state like Kogi State. And he went further to close his eyes and as well close his conscience and has to move such amount of money from the government cover. As the matter and the scenario on the Kogi State former governor, Yahya Bello, moves on, the EFCC share has sworn that he will follow the prosecution of the ex-governor to a logical conclusion. He vowed by saying that he will resign as Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC chairman. He bellowed Yahaya is not prosecuted. He also vowed that all those who obstructed the arrest of the former governor would be brought to book. And so the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, is seeking to arraign Bello on 19th count bordering on alleged money laundry, breach of trust, and misappropriation of funds to the tune of 80.2 billion naira. So guys, what are your takes on this? Please kindly feel free to share your opinion on the comment section. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.